Hi everyone! If we haven't met yet, my name is Grayson, and we are here at the Hot Pod Public Library for our seventh week of toddler STEM kit videos. This week we'll be doing the float or sink activity, and if you didn't get a chance to pick up one of our toddler STEM kits here at the library, there's no need to worry, because this activity, you can use pretty much any object you have at home. All you'll really need is a clear container filled with water. And my only recommendation is don't put any technology in the water because then it'll probably break. So what I've done to prepare for this activity is I wrote down all of the items that I have into a float or sink chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put each of these items into the water, but before I do it, I'm going to guess will it float or will it sink? You can have an adult help you to make a chart because I know some of these words are a little bit tough to spell, so they can probably help you write them down. And then you can make your guesses. Will the objects float or will they sink? I'm going to show you an example right now, so let's get started. I think I'm going to go with the rock first. The rock is pretty heavy, so I think that something that's this heavy might sink in water. So let me mark down my guess and put the rock in and see what happens. Whoa, that sunk really, really fast. I think it's because of how heavy it was. Mm, let's try something a little bit lighter, maybe the rubber duck. The rubber duck has some air in it, so I think that the air and the lightness of this material might help it to float. Let me mark it down on the chart, and let's try. There you go, it's floating. It's sideways, but it's floating. And let's see, maybe I'll try the Lego next. The Lego's really light, kind of like the rubber duck, but there's holes in the bottom that are probably gonna fill up with water. I think it's gonna sink. Let's find out. Sure enough, I was wrong. The Lego is floating. It's filling with water, but it seems like it's still staying at the top there. Very interesting, and there's so many more things that you can test in this water. So look around your home and see what else you have. Will a sponge float or will it sink? What about aluminum foil? And maybe if you crumple the foil, will it change the answer? There's so much you can try, and I'm excited to hear what you do. Have your adult who's helping you post pictures or comments. Let us know what floats and what sinks, and if you had fun doing this experiment with me. I will see you all next week. Have a good one.